Uh, now I have to have a, a Twitch window open. This YouTube window's open. One of them's muted. One of them's not. One of them starts playing. Where the hell are your lights? It's a good question. Where are my lights? Oh my god. Where's Rob at? <laughs> His spirit still Rob! lives. Rob. And Santos goes over to grab the North American title. He's very angry. And he looks into the camera and he roars. And this is the setup for him to get squished again. He has my favorite kind of comeback, which is stand there. Dudes run into him and fall down. Then he squishes him. You know what you can't beat? You can't beat the fat. And the fat won. And I loved it. Well, that's true, Craig. You can't beat the fat. That's right. I mean, I wouldn't la- I wouldn't call him fat. Uh, no. Maybe hefty. Thick. Sure. He's thick. thick boy. He is a thick boy. Yeah, sure. And he's thicked everybody to death. And I loved it. You can't beat the thick. No. That sounds different. He is so much better than anyone else they have on TV. Oh, don't even get me started. We used to hate this goof. And now he's like the king. But I do like uh, Zia Lee's new, her new outfit. She's not it's wearing flattered. a skirt anymore. I've seen a lot of, of pictures of Zia Lee on Instagram. And she looks way different on Instagram than she did in her outfit on NXT. Well, now they've given her a much better outfit. So it's better. And they're spitting and snarling and sweating, and then Thatcher just goes, boo! And they vanish. It scared me. The dollar sign uh, decals on the side of this solid gold ladder were a very nice touch. Kind of like when the guy robs the bank and he's got that bag with the money symbol on it. I'm ready to start a GoFundMe to collect money to pay to NXT to bribe them to never put Dexter Loomis on TV again. This guy is unstoppable. He stopped four dudes up like Cordwood. I don't know where you go from here. But there certainly were a lot of cool moves in the match. I yep. think Samoa Joe's coming. Either to become the GM or to become the guy that takes care of these dorks. Making his dynamite debut, Brock Anderson, son of Arn. Brock looked like he had a very fun day out on the boat in Florida. He's got his polo shirt tucked into his shorts and wearing loafers. Typical Young Bucks spot fest mixed in with the two storylines going on. Eddie trying to earn Pac's trust, and also Brandon Cutler being the biggest geek in the world of the week. He's a fantastic geek. It was fantastic. He needs to go into the Geek Hall of Fame. First ballot. (laughs) First he rams into the thing, and then he's trying to figure out how to lift it up, and then he's trying to figure out how to put it back down again. And I think at one point Jericho was like calling spots about how to operate the forklift (laughs) as he's trying to fucking move this. I was dying watching this. Hold the gimmick. The wingmen. Yeah. Cut a promo. He sure did. And maybe you watch Dynamite every week. You haven't watched the show yet. Anything, but, but Vinny, who are the wingmen? Cesar Bononi, Ryan Nemeth, Peter Avalon, and a fourth person. I don't have any idea who this is. Even though every champion is a heel, we still had a show that had a happy ending. Yes. Because it is possible, even if all of your champions are heels, to have baby faces win and be victorious on your program. Craig, you still there? Okay, Craig hung up. Did he? I. <laughs> oh, he did. <laughs> I guess he got bored. I guess he got bored. Granny, if you could create your own personal ice cream to sell, what would be in it? Ice cream. Yeah, Vinny. Uh, what a dumb question. What would be in your ice cream? Why ice cream, of course. If you made your own ice cream, what would you put in it? I would just have ice cream, nothing else. Flavorless bland. <laughs> so so you just squirt it straight out of the cow. Yep. Okay. Brian's got two great kids. His little girls. Oh, no. Sharing your stories as a father makes you more human brings us into your world. <laughs> no rhyme. <laughs> or reason. Oh, oh, just wait. You'll be their mentor in life like Taz on EW with hook <laughs> just avoid any videos involving a platypus what god he get, he he was purposely trying to be horrible <laughs> i don't buy that for one second vinny i don't care i read the big line luke i am your father and i say it as dramatically as i can and i look over no reaction whatsoever. So we watch the fucking Empire Strikes Back, and it gets to the part where Luke goes, Luke, I am your father. And as soon as he says it, her eyes grow wide, and she looks right at me, and she's like, what? 
<laughs> I'm like, I've read you this a dozen times. I said it the same way Darth Vader does, just as dramatically, and you never registered, but you watched the movie, and it's this big, shocking revelation. Okay, now I have a question. Yes. What's this about AEW? It just seems like they're starting to be more popular than... Mm. WWE. Oh, man. The love of Granny is out the window for 50% of these listeners right now. Granny's on the paper. Yeah. Too. Well, there is an AEW Granny. But it's not part of WWE either. No, it's a different oh, okay. organization. It's a different uh, league. Zero, I believe, zero BS in this one. He, mm -hmm. he, can, he cannot help but just be honest, sometimes to his own detriment. It is what made him Bret the Hitman Hart. It's what made Bret Hart so successful. And in some ways, it really, really hurt him is that he's honest and real about everything all the time. MJF now has a cryptocurrency. Yes. I have never purchased a cryptocurrency in my life. I bought $100 of MJF coin. All right. And I'm watching it in like, in, in two minutes, it had gone up like five bucks, 10 bucks. I had to put in another 150 bucks. And all throughout the day, I've been watching it. It's kind of addictive. I'm sure it this, is. This money growing thing. Yeah. My dividends right now, if this is accurate, I am over $3,000 right now for my $250 investment. Wow. I know I've made more on this than Cameron Grimes made on GameStop. Sure. I am, in fact, going to the moon with this MJF coin here. I don't know how long it'll last. I don't know how to get my money out. <laughs> that seems like a major bucket. Well, in the I system. mean, it can be done is the point. But it's easier to just But I don't know there. how. It's easier to just never look at it again. Regal says, well... There are two conditions. You cannot be a competitor. And you cannot lay a hand on anyone unless provoked. And Joe, who is sweating his balls off under these TV lights, accepts the offer. Prezango's whole gimmick is they do a different wacky entrance every week. They did not get an entrance this week. When, when that, that happened, I assumed they were breaking up on this show. There's been a decree to show fewer entrances on television. I cannot tell you why. There's no there's no wrestling on the other channel, but apparently it's like we're, I, I guess they're afraid if they're if if they air too many entrances, people are going to switch the channel. Kyle O'Reilly and Adam Cole already had their unsanctioned no holds barred match, and really Regal says that settled nothing. Now you shall have a wrestling match at the Great American Bash. Yes, you want Samoa Joe to have credibility, and so I get that you want him to choke out someone who's not a geek. That's why he choked out Adam Cole. Sure. The problem is it made Adam Cole look like a total geek. So there's this wacky charging battery gimmick. Every single person said the same thing. They thought it was a commercial for something else and did not realize it was a wrestling promo. By the end of the show, it's still only up to 20%. What which... did it start at? Zero. Oh, well, that's that, four weeks. Four more weeks. Four... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't need four weeks of a battery charging. And we are introduced to his challenger, Trey Baxter. What a name. Trey Baxter is a much better name than All Heart. I went in a big rant one year about uh, Bobby Fish. It's like, of all the names you could come up with, well, you chose Bobby Fish? Not like Bobby Whale or Bobby Marlin. You just chose random Bobby Fish? And I find out this is a real name. It does sound familiar, actually. Yeah, that, that was a bad one. Yeah, and he'd kick your ass. And for the first time in probably close to 20 years... The Million Dollar Man takes a flat back bump in a ring. It was the greatest fucking bump. It was. Cameron Grimes hits the ring. I'll say. Oh, my God. I don't know. There are like 200 people in this building, but there may as well have been a million. They fucking went crazy. And they're, yeah, they're so happy to see this guy. Casey could totally be the female Rey Mysterio. And they beat her, and they beat her, and they beat her, and they keep her in developmental for a hundred years. Yeah. She's going to be a grandmother by the time she goes to the main roster. It was a much better show than usual. I like this show a lot. The show is much more exciting with Samoa Joe there. Our own filthy Tom Lawler got a big victory. The PFL tonight Yay. laid his gloves in the middle of the ring. We'll find out Monday, but it sounds like he is hanging up them gloves from mm -hmm. mixed martial arts.